All right, guys, so in this video, I'll show you a quick way of uh, adjusting the position of your autonomous position based to a known value. Uh, so let's call this change GPS base position. This is a brand new job in magnet field. I'm using a Hyper HR base and rover configuration. I am in Delaware coordinates. It's okay. Next, next, next. I don't need to change any of these values. So uh, I'm going to actually uh, connect to my base first. That's I'm I'm pretending I'm in the field and taking an arbitrary coordinate for my base position. So I'll go into I'm connected to the base. I'll hit setup, start base. Um, and I don't know the position of my rover or my base, so I'll actually hit the little guy with a pole, which means it's arbitrary. It's an autonomous position, so it's plus or minus 15, 20 feet maybe, by no means accurate, but it gives me a starting point. So when I hit start base, it is going to start. Base started successfully. Do you want to go to rover connection? I'll say yes. Switch over to your rover now. As long as they're on the same channels, you should see uh, if the rover is set up next to your base or within its radio range, you should see a little radio signal icon show up over here. You don't have to wait for it, but if I go into topo over here, you'll see that this will eventually uh, pick up the actual base. Give it a few seconds. All right, there we go. So we're fixed. Uh, that just confirms that the corrections were received by the actual rover. We are relevant to the base, not very far, but I'll just uh, store a point. Store, okay, so as of right now, if we go our, into our edit points, we have two, two positions. So can have thousands of course but this is just for the show I'll hit disconnect pretend that my jobs actually finished now I'm back at the office and I now know that the base position which was read arbitrary with arbitrary coordinates is supposed to actually be and this is how you do it I'll make this correct rec, sorry corrected uh, and we know that the base, for example, with the opus position comes back at these values. I don't know. I'm making these up because I didn't actually do it, but this is how you actually adjust it. So we'll say, I don't know, we'll make this 60 over here, for example, and elevation will say zero. So when I hit this, first of all, you see that these two are the points that were relevant to when the base was started here and elevations were at 8.7 and 8.9 over here. This is the corrected position that we need to now associate with the base. So how you do that is you hit back, you go into raw data, and you find your base coordinates in your raw data. Yes, I don't have that much here, but the base one will be here and the base one will have this here. So if I hit edit, you see that you cannot really change the actual values here, but you can change the actual point number or the point from your list. So I'll hit the list and I'll say this is my corrected position. It doesn't have to be you know, called corrected, it's just for show. So now these are the values that we entered. We'll hit OK. Base station has changed. You should restart it before uh, use. That just means uh, if I have a live session going on, but if you're back at your office and you're disconnected, it's not going to actually make a difference. But that's changed, which means if I now hit back, you'll see when I go back into points, notice my elevation on that point number that I collected as my topo point is now relevant not to the 8.745 foot height, which was the original one, but to the corrected one. And you'll also notice that the, the position um, goes from 60 to 66. Again, we, I wasn't really paying attention what the horizontals were, but the vertical. Uh, but essentially, all of the points now will be 
shift it to the coordinate that you added here meaning if you go back into the raw data those are the coordinates that uh, all of the topo shots will be relative to and you see how the actual raw data gets calculated it because the uh, positions were fixed between the base before corrected and even now corrected and the actual calculations made by a difference in northing a difference in easting and a difference in elevation no matter what these values are the, this raw data will get applied to those coordinates and your resulting coordinate file which now will be listed here will be based on that corrected position all right now it's really up to you just to go into exchange and either just save the job or exit out of the job or export the job to a file uh, if you want to work with the resulting coordinates all right i hope this was a helpful video and uh, if you have any questions or comments let me know